Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Carry on on this Volkswagen Passat 2008. Uh, if you are following the channel, you most likely have seen the other video, which I'll might leave a link in the description below for the steering angle. Um, and on that video I said I would have to split because I found a separate issue, which is the issue we're going to tackle now. So, what's the issue? The issue is the following. Let me start the engine so I can show you. So the issue is, ta-da, all those lights. Okay, so we have ESP light on, ABS light on, and that sort of parking brake sort of light on as well. Now, the, the issue with this is the following. I've already scanned the car, and my code on my ABS is that. Uh, code is 00290 uh, left rear ABS wheel speed sensor implausible signal implausible signal now when I drive the car one of the things I notice is as soon as I put my obviously now it doesn't do it because there is a fault if I clear the fault as you might have seen on the other video um, the fault goes away uh, and uh, and when I drive the car as soon as I press the brake I can feel the ABS pump working and I can feel it on my on, on the pedal and I can hear it and and every time you brake and it carry on doing this a few times until it triggers the light. Now what says in there is implausible signal. So the pump or the unit is getting a signal from the sensor. However, when you first press, if I clear the codes, when I first press the brake, the unit will get the signal and he thinks something's, the wheel is sleeping or whatever, and he's gonna obviously do what he has to do. Only a few times later, because it's always the same thing, the, the, the unit is programmed to obviously see that something's not right and trigger the fault. And that's the reason why it took me a little bit to make the lights come on on the last video. Fault free, not yet. Let me just show you for the next video. Driving the car. That's why I had to split this video in two. I just want to see if I can trigger it so you can see what happens. Come on, don't let me down now. Oh, come on. There we go. But they eventually come on, as you've seen. So, uh, yeah. Another thing is, and let me show you, because while I was there driving, I did a little bit of uh, data manager, review data. So I've done a little bit of, um, I can only do three, I think. Yeah, I can only do three here. So, I'm going to press... Oh, I can't press play, can I? No, I can only do next frame. Anyway, I took some live data. And as you can see, my I have my front... I can only have three. So I have my uh, front right uh, speed, rear left and rear right. So the rear left is going to be my green in there. So that should be the one that I needed to look at. And as I start to go, so I was driving the car, start to drive, and then, look at that. Look at the green line. I think it's quite self-explanatory, 
what's going on that sensor is breaking either that or a wiring problem so so the sensor is reading 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 and dropped reads again and then drops all this is, is dropping so it's dropping at a certain speed so either we have um, a sensor problem or we have a wire problem most likely the sensor because otherwise it wouldn't read nothing at all I, I, I would say but we don't know that yet so my next step guys is going to be take the wheel out take the sensor and do, do an inspection and go from there really but at the moment I think we easily established that the problem is going to be somewhere on the signal from the sensor to the ABS or the sensor itself okay guys problem found problem found so the first thing I've done was obviously take this sensor off you can easily see that the sensor has been rubbing on the magnetic reluctor ring it's marks in there now when I cross a magnet in front of this which I have one here okay obviously it's too big etc but I can easily make a numbers to appear on the speed of this wheel quite erratic but doesn't matter is it is working cable looks okay connection looks okay so because of the state of this disc and etc um, and the fact that I was touching what I decided to do was to put the camera the hotel scope camera in there in the hole of where the sensor is and that's exactly what I'm going to show you now so that's my that's the magnetic ring now I'm going to turn the wheel I know the light is not brilliant let me see if I can be slightly different let me actually put the phone down I can actually look at this properly there we go so I'm going to rotate the wheel okay so to start with I don't know if you can see there is a crack where it is okay I'll go this way so quite a little bit of damage in there oh look at that another crack in there not very good is it really bad shit another crack right there another little bit missing there and this is the worst point look at that so the magnetic thingy magnetic layer look at that there it is and there's there it just finished look oh, the other way Look, it's missing. Can you see how bad it is? It's completely gone. So when it goes through this area here, is when it fails to read. Look, all gone, all gone. And then come it up again. You can see in there. And then you have the ring again. If I go back, that's it. So it, it literally needs a new, well, it needs a new hub, a new bearing. As far as I'm aware, this is attached. Is one of those bearings with the, the reluctor ring at the back. So it's gonna need a new hub. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, the sensor, most likely still okay. So we're gonna get a hub. And when I get the hub, replace it, test it. And should be about it really, I think. Uh, good that I have the camera otherwise it will be very difficult to spot and hold back it would be a little bit more tricky to diagnose but hey we got there we know what the problem is now that's gonna get the parts and get this going and there he is a brand new one so let's gonna crack on with this and get it replaced right caliper is out honestly this car is in need of a brake job to be honest with you it's really bad really bad 
All right, now we're gonna take the carrier so we can then take the disc and therefore take and then after take the the bearing okay and it was definitely a challenge to take the carrier out I already hurt myself my daughter helped me out and funny enough I didn't even hurt myself here hurt myself closing the drawer on the van but yeah anyway so that's out it was a definitely a challenge to take these two bolts from the carrier and um, the bearing I think just a spur the camera that we've seen no rocket science no. just come out <laughs> okay there right so the new bearing guys so just curiosity comes with a new cap comes with a new bolt so we're not going to reuse the bolt comes with a new bolt and yeah um, I'm gonna put everything back on I'm not gonna take you through the law I'm just literally gonna put everything back on I'm gonna probably take the calipers give you a good clean and a little bit of grease at least on this side because I'm touching it um, and we'll have to advise the guy that he needs he needs definitely discs and pads um, but yeah but that that's up to him then if he wants to do it or not but for now I'm going to put everything back on because it's getting dark even though it might not look on the camera but it's getting dark and I want to get this done today and tomorrow I'll try the car tomorrow morning but yeah for now I'm not going to take you through anything else just put everything back on um, that's about here guys so yeah okay good morning and here we are again next day uh, glad I did the thing yesterday because I won't be able to do it today Today is absolutely shite. Um, right, let's gonna clear these lights to start with. Uh, I haven't cleared the car yet, so I'm gonna clear the lights and then we're gonna go for a drive. And fingers crossed, the problem is solved. Okay, all cleared, fault free. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Such a beauty, such a beauty. Hey, <laughs> right, let's go. Okay, and first things first, no lights. Second, I definitely can see, um, well, I can't feel that, um, what you call it, I can't feel the pedal uh, vibrating anymore so it's not activating the ABS uh, anymore when I press the, the the pedal which would happen like uh, even like now if I would press the pedal I could feel it um, it's, it's absolutely perfect now uh, yeah no lights came back on everything's good uh, I'm just gonna turn around and load the live data once more just curiosity really because I know it's fixed but just to show you guys I'll show you the live data just for you to see that um, that is, is okay now so let me just turn around here and I will show you okay so here we have it so real left as you can see up there is the green line so I'm going to start to drive there we go I think is self-explanatory, beautiful. That's it. That's it. And back home and ready to move to the next and last issue with this car. So stay tuned. Um, but for this one, guys, as you've seen, problem is fixed car is driving absolutely spot on um, and in the end with just uh, that uh, reluctor ring on the bearing sensor is okay the sensor is the same one uh, as before um, and yeah that's it guys uh, we got it fixed um, one thing that I would probably say is that the way I look at this unless the other side has been changed recently 
mm, it might be very close to happen the same who knows but for now it's fixed guys and that's the main thing so that's gonna wrap up this guys hope you enjoyed this video hope there's some information uh, whatever that you're gonna find useful um, if you have any questions any comments put them below and like always thanks for watching hehehe <laughs>